Hello everyone. I've had a lot of technical issues trying to record this today and that means that it's a very, very important topic, so listen up. This topic is regarding Dr. Stephen Greer. If you are not familiar with Dr. Stephen Greer, he was an ER doctor who was making half a million dollars a year and when he became aware of the secret programs and all the different things that were going on and things that were being hidden and technologies and everything, he took it upon himself to leave his career and make sure that he did everything in his power to make sure this information comes out to serve humanity. Now that in itself is no small thing to walk away from half a million dollars a year, a career that you spent how long on your education and everything and you have a family and everything to take care of and you still choose to come forward and serve humanity. Uh, the man, that man, any man who chooses to do something like that is just beyond anything that I could ever imagine and you have my full respect. Okay, so he's been out this for a really long time and now finally as we enter this disclosure process he's actually seeing things come to pass and it's absolutely amazing. So next thing is congressional hearings. If you're not familiar with the congressional hearings you can watch them on YouTube and this is where the people are coming forward that are actually working in these secret organizations as well as military people and they're coming forward and they are explaining everything that they know about the things that have been going on and that's wonderful. The problem is that these people have signed NDAs and they will possibly go to prison, they will lose their pensions, and also many of them have been killed in the past for coming forward and telling people what they know. And they're doing it anyway. They are heroes. They are heroes. And what I'm asking you to do is to just with a few clicks of your finger, a couple of swipes, you can go in and add your name to a list where you contact your senators asking for protection for these people that are coming forward and putting everything on the line to get this information out. So, well, why should I bother? How does this affect me? That'll be the next thing people are thinking. How does it affect you? Well, would you like a cure for cancer? Because they have one. I can say this boldly now, I've always known it to be true, but now it's so out there and so true and it's information's everywhere that you can find it. And that's just one of many things. Um, the energy issue, all of those things solved, cleaning up the environment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of these uh, free technologies, they are free. Yes, they're free to us because our tax dollars have already paid for them. Are you interested now? Never mind that it is the right thing to do, though, because most people will not put themselves on the line for much of anything. They're pretty much always trying to cover their own ass, and these people are literally putting everything on the line for the entire humanity, for the sake of humanity. So the least we can do, especially here in the United States, we do live in a democracy, you know? And believe me, I'm not pointing a finger just at you lazy people and calling you complacent, because it, that used to be me as well. I was not involved in politics. I was not aware of any of this, or I was aware on it on some level, but did I really try to do anything about it? No, I, I do now. And you can too. So are you going to be one of those new agers that are just like blah, 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 running your mouth and pretending like you care and pretending like you're an activist while you sit on your ass and you don't do everything? Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Stand up and do something. This is one of the biggest and most important events in humanity's history. And you and me and all of us actually get to be a part of it. It's amazing. Your kids and your grandkids are going to be asking a lot of questions about it. And want to be nice to say, yeah, this is what I actually did. When I found out about it, I was involved, you know, and I, it, it matters. And it's going to teach the children and grandchildren and all the people around you that they matter, that their voice counts because it does. The only way we're going to get protection for these people is if we do something about it. Yes, now Congress is aware of what's going on. But again, they can get to them. They can be threatened and paid off and this and that and everything. So the more of you people that are out there aware of it and saying, we're aware of it and we're demanding it. We're aware of it. We're demanding it. That's the only way you change anything. That's the only way you change anything. And these people deserve to be protected. Not everyone is in a position where they have the balls to stand up and do something like that or the money or, or the whatever wherewithal to, to make efforts that are so grandiose. But what you have to understand is no matter where you are, no matter how much money you have, no matter what your education level is, you have the ability to make your voice heard. It matters. It matters. And you have the ability to run your mouth and tell all your friends and family members, gather up the crew. If we're ever going to do it ever, now is the time. You know, 
it always takes a really, really small percentage of people to have the balls to, to do something, to start a revolution, you know, to expose information, whatever. But it's the support of the people that carries it through. If you do nothing, then they gave up everything for nothing. They did it for you and your grandchildren, the future of your country, future humanity for Pete's sake. And honestly, I'm not being dramatic. If you don't know what's going on, you need to look into it because the future of humanity is exactly what we're talking about. If you're not looking around over the last few years realizing that the future of humanity is at stake, then you're clouded, man. You need to like, you need to see clearly. And uh, most of the people who watch my channel, you probably already are well aware. You know this. So, um, and there are a lot of people that are well aware that just don't motivate for many of the reasons that I already listed. And now's the time, man. And, and you know, I, I, when I come across information and it's a big deal like this, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to run my mouth and make it a big deal. And I will actually put the links. I always say I'm going to do it, but this whole thing is about links. It's about this video. It's an hour and a half video. Dr. Greer breaks it down. I suggest you watch the entire thing. You know, it's worth it. I know you don't have a lot of time, but you need to know what's going on. And he, he's so succinct and, I, and intelligent. God bless him. I love him so much. Um, I will timestamp it. So if you just want to go into that part where he actually talks about what you can do and how you can get involved and how to contact the senators, it's very easy. I'll put that timestamp on. I'll put the links on. I'm going to do everything I can to make it easy below the video. And whenever I do this, I'm going to actually try to make it as easy for everyone as possible because there really is no excuse. You know, it's not like, uh, Oh, join our group, save the whales, save the bees. And you're like, okay. And then they're like, well, donate 10 or $15. And you're like, okay. And then they try to, and then, no, no. All you have to do is use your voice and your finger. Okay. I'm not asking for anything else and neither is anyone else the, you know, everything is on the line. You guys, everything's on the line. Never mind that there's going to be an amazing payback for all of us, which there is, but just these people, what they are doing for you and your children and your grandchildren, they deserve it. They fucking deserve it. Don't let them get injured. Don't let them get destroyed because they stood up and did the right thing. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm off of my soapbox now. I love you very much. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.